G'day all, welcome back to Frostbite's G.I. Joe Repro. Um, I went for a trip to my local comic shop yesterday, picked up some sweet Joe comics um, that I was missing. Um, so, you know, got my usual order, I have a standing order with them for um, the new Joe series. I hadn't put a standing order in for um, Cobra Commander or Duke, so I did that yesterday. Um, I thought I was just going to collect the Joe comics, but I had heard that the uh, Coco and, and Duke series were kicking ass at the moment. So, yeah, put the standing order in. Um, and the whole point of that is supporting a local comic store. These are businesses run by, um, you know, local people usually, usually not big chains. Uh, they're just independent businessmen and, and good on them. So... Um, I don't go there all that often. I've just started going there to pick up my orders. Usually I just head there like once a month, once every two months. Um, and just go and see what's new in there and what's cool. So going in there yesterday and, and my local comic shop is, uh, D's comics in Belconnen in Canberra and in, uh, the Australian capital territory, the ACT. So big shout out to um, uh, Brendan, the owner there. Um, he's a genuine dude and, and he'll he'll fix you up if you need stuff. Um, so yeah, went there uh, and he had this sitting on the shelf. So it's the Golden Idol from Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, just found it hard to contain myself because I just love that shit. Uh, just those little things from uh, classic movies like that. Um, so, yeah, as you can see by the price tag, it was 70 Australian dollars. So um, it's probably like five bucks US or something. Uh, that's a joke, by the way. Um, currency exchange poop. Um, so yeah, I just thought I really want to open this up, but I also wanted to share it with you guys because I had not seen this in any other location. Um, and I wasn't in the shop the last time I was in there. And so, yeah, I wanted to share it with you guys, um, just so you could see what might be available at your local comic shop, because as I said, you should be supporting them. So yeah, let's take a look at this. Um... So as I said, Golden Idol, Red is the Lost Ark. Um, looking at the branding on the bottom, so it's the Diamond Select mob. Um, they are a big supplier to comic shops. And then on this side, you've got your Gentle Giant um, brand. I don't actually own anything of Gentle Giant. This will be the first thing. Um, usually they make those massive figures, the massive Star Wars figures. Um, and they did actually have a massive version of Indiana Jones in there yesterday. Um, and they also had the, in there yesterday was uh, the map room from Raiders, Raiders of the Lost Ark. So it was sort of like a diorama setup type thing, but it was in a sweet box um, and the setup looked sweet. And I believe that was a gentle giant thing as well. Um, yeah making some really interesting stuff, stuff that no one else is making. So good on them. Um, making stuff like this, I'll buy it. So just checking out the box. And as you know, for a lot of things, I don't keep the boxes. So this box will be going in the bin and, and this will be going on display. Um, the thing that actually cracked me up with this, if you check down the bottom on here, is it's a money bank. Um, so I probably won't be using it as a money bank, but who knows, might toss some coins in there and, and see what happens. Um, so yeah, just checking out the sides. It's just got that beautiful, uh, Indiana Jones coloring, you know, just the detail up the top here, like excellent. Just looking at, looking at the box, just brings back feelings of, uh, how awesome Indiana Jones is. Um, it's got that terrific font coming around to the back. It's got a picture of the idol itself. It's got the branding down the bottom. Um, and then it's got this description. So I'll just read that to you quickly. 
Uh, the year is 1936 and the intrepid archaeology, uh, archaeology, oh my God, I'm just going to move on. We all know what Indiana Jones is. Sets out in search of the fabled lost Ark of the Covenant, uh, racing a bitter rival and his Nazi cohorts um, to the prize. Over the course of a hair-raising adventure, Indian Jews, uh, explosions, spiders, snakes, booby traps, and bad guys in his quest to save the Holy Relic. Uh, this vinyl coin bank is inspired by the golden Indiana Jones uh, the Golden Idol Indiana Jones retrieves from a Peruvian temple at the beginning of Raiders of the Lost Ark. It features a coin slot as well as a removable access door at its base. So, yeah, just in terms of the packaging, it's fantastic. Really well done. Um, I have a few diamond... Uh, I think they're diamond products, like the Marvel, maybe they're Marvel diamond figures. I don't know if they have affiliation with diamond or not, but, um, yeah, they're sort of that same feel if you've got some of those. So, yeah, let's crack this bad boy open. I'm really excited to get this on display. Um, actually, I... Um, I had a whole bunch of videos to do today, and I prioritized, after buying this, I prioritized this over on board just to get it out. Okay, just on the inside, I'll just pull this out so you can see. Um, it's sort of that map background. I didn't even notice that sitting behind this because the idol's so big in the box. Um, but they've just gone to that extra effort that we don't see in... Um, certain toys and it's going to bring this out for example you know look at that nothing in the background don't go to any um, any extra effort Hasbro sweet good job um, but yeah just you know companies like this General Giant are just kicking ass even in the small details so the small details are usually what matters they're the things that flick your brain and, and make you think, oh, my God, that is just sweet. It just adds to that extra effort. Um, and what's even better is when you're looking at the map, they're not just giving you some crap map. This is um, like the map centered on Peru, where this thing's from. Just such a nice, nice sort of touch that, you'll probably take a couple of seconds to look at, but it's just kicking ass in your head. So good job, Gentle Giant. Um, so out of the box, it's coming, you know, what I'm uh, weirdly so used to seeing for Easter eggs, the old school Easter eggs would come in this type of uh, packaging. Maybe that's just weird. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that lifts off. And we're left with that. And just the beautiful finish on this is excellent. Um, let's take it out. So I actually already had an idol and it was one that I made myself. Um, from a design online. Uh, so through my 3D printing, I made this one. And you can see the only real difference is, is like the finish of mine is a bit sh like crappier. Um, this one is so nice, like such a nice finish to it. You can tell it's a professional product. Uh, mine's not too bad, but yeah, this thing, like, because I sort of am denied of the spending of $70 when I have something that, you know, I created myself and I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Um, but then I thought, no, no, this, this is the professional product and it's going to look great. And yeah, 
Um, so yeah, this will probably chuck this into a charity raffle soon. So yeah. Um, this feels like light as it should, because it's hollow, it's a money bank. Um, got your coin slot up the top there and down below, that's where we're opening it up. Okay. Um, let me try. There we go. So there is a fair amount of room in there to chuck your coins into. Um, this thing is not coming off in a hurry, which is, I guess, a good thing for a money bank. So we'll chuck that back on. That is secure, <laughs> weirdly secure. Um, yeah, just a great purchase. I'm very happy and weirdly excited about having it. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Um, I think it's been out for a while. I know um, uh, Adam from our Tuesday night broadcast. Pretty sure he's got this in his collection. Um, but, you know, it's not something that's showing up at your local Target or Walmart or Big W or whatever. Um, so you've got to find them. And that's sometimes with these things, once they make them and, and release them, they Sometimes they just tend not to do that again. So finding these out in the wild is really nice. But yeah, like I said, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Um, will you be uh, heading to your local comic shop to check out for, for this thing? Or, you know, is it something you'd buy? Just let me know. Um, and yeah, I feel like I'm going to get some comments on uh, how to pronounce archaeologist. Um, it's early here in Canberra and uh, had a few drinks last night. So a little bit dusty and, and pronunciation may not be the best thing. Um, but yeah, uh, if you're new to my channel, please hit that sub button. Uh, really helps me out uh, with motivation to keep making videos for you guys. Um, if you're happy with the video today, hit the like button and let me know in the comments, um, you know, did you like the video and is there anything that you'd like me to uh, open up, review, take a look at it for you in the future. Um, is there a certain toy line that you want to see more of? Just let me know. Um, apart from that, thanks so much for getting to this part of the video. And uh, yeah, catch me in the next one. Bye-bye.